Harvey, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what? Do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki. Have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. It burns! Harvey?
You speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold.
comes a second great sorrow, when the Ravi goes to fight the wolf. How do you know these things? This is the tale I tell them.
I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki. But I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend, things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. 
Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the Great Wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir. The coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash. A chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge, and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Or oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka.